Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this world infographic slide in PowerPoint. You can see there's a world map over there and I have added some lights on top of some countries. And on the right side, you can see there's a chart where the percentage has been given. And then you can see on the top, on the left side, there is a place to add the titles and bottom I have added some more charts and when I click it will start the light start blinking on those countries and similarly I have created some more the chart designs I have added this and when I click it will change to something this So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, right mouse click, go to format background and select the solid fill and change the color to something this. This is a teal color. If you don't know the teal color, you can go and go to more colors and you can just see this one red, green and blue 129, 177 and 177 go to insert tab shapes select our rectangle under the format make the height as 6 inches and width as 12.5 inches bring it to the center bring it down and you can change no outline and the color to somewhat light yellowish or you can see this color press ctrl d to duplicate and change the color to dark gray color reduce the size and send this to back Just align its center go to insert again shapes and select a right triangle draw the triangle something like this make it no outline and give the same dark gray background color and you can press ctrl D copy and bring to other side and you can rotate flip vertical and flip horizontal you can reduce the size the size is somewhat big I'll just select both the objects and reduce the size and then I can just drag it towards left and right now I have created the world map which is editable here if you want to select any country you can just say for example I'm going to select the continent Africa I can go and change the color to some different color Similarly for the middle list also I can just go and change to some different color But here I'm not going to change the colors. I'm just going to use this map Copy this map and paste it over here Go to insert shapes and select the oval shape here and give the height and width as 0.2 inches. Make it no outline and make the color to white. Go to format effects under reflection 
or sorry under glow you can just go and select any glow effect here and soft edges add some soft edges to it and you can bring it here if you want that the glow to be white you can just select the white color there and whichever country you need to put it this on you can just press ctrl d and add on top of those countries Now go to insert shapes and select a rectangle, draw the rectangle, you can make it 3, 4 or any number of rectangles depending on your requirement. I am going to make it uh, draw 3 rectangles here with the different sizes. And for this make it no outline and I'm going to give somewhat kind of an orange color that is a rose color and then I can use the diamond shape to cut the the other end so just reduce the size make it no outline and make sure that it is aligned properly spend some time here and just make sure that it is aligned properly and you can press ctrl D and copy to the other rectangles as well and at the last also copy this one now select the rectangle and the diamond shape under merge shape say subtract do the same thing here you can see we got this uh, particular shape now You can just uh, place any way you want. And then I'm going to give some more effect to that one. Go to insert shape, select a right triangle. Zoom in. And then you can just rotate vertical and rotate horizontal. make it no outline and give some dark gray color to it
we can press Ctrl D and just copy to the other slides as well, other objects as well. And if you want, you can copy one more title on the top. So I'm just going to select this. I'll just group it and bring it over here. And then using the Alt and the right arrow key, I can just rotate it. And then you can add some text to it add the titles make it white color and place it over the ribbons Now I'm just going to add some charts to it. Go to charts, select the bar chart or any other chart, click OK and then you can change the chart settings here at the data. I'm just going to put some sales and any countries you can add here. I'm just going to go for four countries, maybe USA, UK, China and maybe Brazil. you can see the chart is ready but better to use all the countries which we have highlighted I'm just setting the grid lines I'm deleting the grid lines and I'm going to reduce the chart size and whichever thing you don't like just delete it and you can add some more charts at the bottom I'm just going to create a, a placeholder column for that change the color to light blue and press ctrl D reduce the size and change the color and you can add any more charts or any information on this you can add it press ctrl D add I'm just going to add four here if you want to increase you can increase the boxes You can see here I have added some charts here so you can add your own charts or you can add your own text there. Now it's time to do the animation. Go to animation pane, enable the animation pane and then select one, all the lights here or you can just select one and under more emphasis effects. You can see this uh, blinking, blink, select that one, go to the properties of the animation, double click, timing, make it medium and repeat until end of the slide and just say okay. 
and using animation painter i'm just going to copy this animation effect to rest of those uh, blinking lights Now the animation has been added, select all the animation except the first one, make it with previous and then you can increase the duration, first is 25 then 50, add 25 to it. So I'm just incrementing with 25 uh, seconds delay or 0.25 seconds delay. So let me just see how it looks like now. Go to slideshow and when I click it will start blinking. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.